But speaking of influence, how inf- influential? Man, I can't even read. Hooked on phonics ain't working for me today. Oh, how influential? On, man. Get it man. together, man. <laughs> Fuck all that, man. How did Jake Paul influence? How was his influence? Man, how influential? Hey, Khalil, help me out. Dude. You know I can't read. <laughs> No <laughs> we, need to, we need to go back to get the yeah. <laughs> Nigga. Welcome to the Team 7 Pirates Podcast, the show that talks about almost everything under the sun, from animated sports and from music and video games. I'm Kaz, here with my boy Khalil, my big brother Yoki. Now let's get into it. Yeah, that shit skip four. I'm gonna do a straight intro. Man. <laughs> <laughs> man, man. Welcome back to Fuck Nigga 101. <laughs> God damn, man. We got a special. I'm gonna try to sense myself today. We got a special <laughs> guest on. <laughs> My man's. From the M to the V, from the N to the Y, from, from the B to the I, to the T to the C to the H. Here we go. <laughs> My man's Danny Boy, Joe Nigga, Dan the Bitch, I mean Dan the Man. Dan, what up, G? <laughs> What's going on, Captain? You know me, nigga me what's up what you been up to though what you been watching lately or hearing or seeing or doing or who you been doing or well, you been uh, who to? i've been doing we ain't gotta get all into that I, man, well, you know yeah. <laughs> but um as far as what i've been watching wanna get canceled. Into, i've been on my anime way exactly that's what i'm saying chief um i'm messing around with a uh, villain saga right now that's like one of my joints that i'm really watching hey hold on hold on, hold on. oh yeah khalil and yogi here too I keep forgetting these niggas. I can't. Yeah, Khalil and Yogi here too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you said you was in the Vinland Saga, Dan? Yeah, Vinland Saga. Have you been reading the manga or you just been watching the anime? I've just been watching the anime. Uh, certain things I like really dive into the manga for, like Dagobahn. They don't even have an anime adaptation, so I've been collecting them uh, bitches slowly but surely. But I've been watching a lot of Vinland and uh, a couple other things too. Like what? Monster, if you've uh, heard of it. They got a, it's like a, kind of like an OG anime, it's a little on the older side, but uh, it's pretty dope. It's on Netflix right now. That shit is fine. It's, it's weird, but it's, it's a good story. I heard it was pretty good. I might check it out, then I might not, because since it's a little older, I don't really do too many older animes unless that shit like get a high review or that shit really well high praise or I felt I fuck with it. If not, then I, I don't know. Cause that shit, what's that shit called? Elgi, um, Trigon, Trigon, yeah, Trigon, B, yeah, Trigon, Trigon, Tribeam, what the fuck. That shit. <laughs> uh, the classics don't hit for, every, for everybody, bro. Damn sure hey, don't ain't that I right, Yogi. That, but the classic because yeah, they inspired it. other things of what we have today. You gotta appreciate them though. So what I'm is saying, inspired? There we, go. there we go. We got an A1 guess. I'm is. not too sure. Ooh. I'm not What's too up? sure about Monster because I just like Loki kind of heard about that one. But uh, I would definitely say like Cowboy Bebop, you know, the cool kind of like thing that they had going on there. No, that I'm talking about Trigon. Right. I ain't talking about Cowboy Bebop. I'm talking about what did oh, Trigon I don't, I don't know. I, I, I'm, yeah, not gonna, either. I'm not going to defend <laughs> Trigon like that. I fuck with it, but I can't really talk about it too, too much. I only yeah, you like tell him, Dan. One time I ran through it. It was interesting. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Better than your, your review, nigga. <laughs> nigga, Mark, man, look, I, man, look, that's a different, that's a different episode. Khalil, what you been up to, G? I know okay. you a little sad or dead or bad or whatever. What up, G? I'm straight. I'm straight. I ain't been doing nothing. <laughs> huh? Uh, I ain't been doing nothing instead of chilling. Shit. Been 
watching. You know, you've been staring at the wall paint, the wall drawings. Of course, I always do that. That's all I do. <laughs> okay, what color? I watch paint dry and I sleep. Blue. And then you and then you sleep and watch paint dry in your sleep, right? Yep. I do all of that. I do all My of that. Quirk. Then, then you open nah, your eyes uh, and watch the ceiling dry. Nah, I watch your form to different things. But I thought you said something. Nah, now. I've been uh... a. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, I've been I've been chilling. Shit, I got caught up with a uh, uh, villain saga. Um, shit, I started watching this show on Paramount called Scorpion. It's an old show, but uh, that shit. It's about like a team of geniuses that go through solving crime. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like vibrating. That shit is, uh, yeah. It's different. Uh, I might check yeah. it out. Is it worth it, though? I had Paramount Plus for a little bit. The only thing I saw in that drink was Halo. Halo was fire. Did y'all see that? No. No. They didn't. You know, I heard about it. They have Paramount Plus. Nah, not for nothing. If you approach it as like a, like a cool sci-fi show, it's really interesting. Like, if you're a hardcore gamer, like, you was all about Master Chief this, Master Chief that, played all the Halo games, it might not hit you just right. It might not. But if you approach it with, like, that open-mindedness, it's a pretty good show. I can't wait for season two, to be honest with you. I can't. Nah, I ain't watched that. I don't think... I heard about it, though. I heard it was good, but I never watched nah. it. Nah, man. If you if you already have Paramount Plus, I should I would definitely say you should fuck with it. Give it a try. I don't have Paramount Plus, and I don't think I'm getting it to keep your stack with you. Yogi, what you been on? Okay, okay, so I for a password that sleep a lot. Um, <laughs> Lazy ass. Yeah, work had, work, work had me sore. Uh, I did like 15 miles over the week in one day. So, yeah. Okay, yeah he's he's dressed up. Like Goku, he was training to go to Namek. <laughs> Just ain't got no fucking Can't sense of beans, nigga. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, what you been? You been what you seen mean anything that? or Just played saying. anything recently? Uh, Mega Man Battle Network. Woo! <laughs> Mega Man Jackin, power up! That's my nigga right there, boys. Okay, I'm hip. Played a little bit of that. Played a little bit of that. That shit probably trash. The though, first but... one. It's not. Uh, that was fun. But uh, Sounds good. they do the uh, they did they dropped the whole collection, and so it's way better than having to go search out for Game Boy Advance games. It's probably text at this point now. Looking for it, so, and it's all in one. And you can play it on the Switch, start playing on the TV, and you can play it on the go. So, it's only on the Switch, or so I'm on no, the too. Uh, I think it's also on PlayStation as well. Okay. But I got it for the Switch just because I grew up playing it on the Game Boy Advance. So, okay. Now, if I find this shit and this shit garbage, I'm gonna be on your ass. <laughs> hey, if you can, if you can play the Yu Gi Oh, you can play the Mega Man. You got me fucked up, nigga. You got me all the way fucked up, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I seen the content, nigga. Yu-Gi-Oh ain't trash, nigga. You got me fucked up. Don't disrespect the Yu-Gi-Oh, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, let me put on this Millennial Puzzle. I got something for you, nigga. This Millennial Puzzle. <laughs> Yami Cass gonna have something for your ass. <laughs> <laughs> slow, slow down, Yu-Gi-Boy. Yu-Gi-Boy, we gotta take the hell. You gonna slap this uh, nigga cat? Okay, well, I'm about to crack this fucking <laughs> this crowbar across your head, nigga, on my Jason Todd. Shout out to Khalil. That's your favorite <laughs> nigga, right? That's what you all that for the harder the cars, huh? Yeah, harder the fucking crowbar too, motherfucker. Keep talking back to me. Or <laughs> 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 okay. okay. you get swiped up with a phantom punch, but go ahead. All right, motherfucker. Well, you keep talking. I'm going to send your ass a shout around. So say something else. I lived in. Oh, yeah, well, else, take your ass back then. You you live in the go zone or shout out rounds, whichever you want to call it, nigga. You want you about to go back. Fuck on with me. 
Yo, fuck, nigga. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo. Right, right. Got a off topic. Nah, you good. Yeah, ain't, but ain't, shit. ain't been too much for sleeping, nigga, man. I got you. Uh, all right, Rock. <laughs> but since we all been watching Venom, it's like I got a question for y'all, though. So, what y'all think happened to the, the warrior after war? So, basically, we all seen. Well, we all. Spoiler alert. I, say if we you all, I mean, seen it. yeah, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert for y'all. Man, fuck them. They be all right. Um. <laughs> Here you go. Most of us seen Vinland Saga, the anime. I only watched the anime, so I ain't seen the manga. Well, I didn't read the manga. So, from season one to season two, it's like a huge difference. This nigga's, he's not even a warrior no more in season two. I don't know what the fuck the nigga is. He ain't even a farmer because he don't even know what the fuck he's doing. So, he's just a pacifist. <laughs> that nigga a bitch. That's all he is. Nah, nah, nah. I don't nah, know. Nah, that nah, episode nah, 17 nah, about nah, to turn nah, up, nah. though. Oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. So, what y'all think happened to the nigga, to Thorfinn, after the war? And before we get into that, and the first person I want to go, the one person I want to go first is Khalil. Russian roulette, motherfucker. You shooting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but before I get into that, Y'all seen the previous episodes, y'all, what we was talking about, it, you know, he'll make a good, Thorfinn will make a good Robin, but I know Dan didn't watch that in the ditch. Ah! Ah! But, that's neither here nor there, but it will be there soon. But, it's like, now, do you really think he would be a good Robin, though? Cause that season two Thorfinn, I don't know. I don't know what type of Robin he is. He he a bird. He ain't even a Robin. He he, <laughs> he just a bird. <laughs> he no name ass nigga. Like, I don't know what the fuck he is. He ain't even an owl. He just a bird. So But when you say that's that's uh growth. Cause well, now he we, thinks more logically. Digressing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he think he think more logically now instead of just going straight off the handle, straight off the cuff. Not really. He's like he looks more like he's scared. No, don't do this because you know if slaves do this, react to this, then we're gonna get killed or we're gonna there's gonna be a reaction to that. That's logic, but at nah. the same time, it's more of scared being scared of anything. It sounds more like he's just more like conscious and aware of the world and his actions and how it can impact, you know, the things around him or himself. Whereas before, he was just a one track minded dude. He's like, ask a lot! You know what I'm saying? Now he's a bit more mature and shit. Yeah, that man was out for revenge. He was trying to get better just to kill somebody. Okay. I'll let you go first, man. I'll let you go first. But, then. I'll let you go you know. first. I was to say, isn't that the same with uh with Batman? Like you said, Batman, he was out there being crazy. And he tied up on the roof. I just let that nigga fall. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> yeah, that's different though. That's different though. Cause he he had fear talks in him, and he ain't had no fear no more. So that's different. So, isn't that the same thing with Thorfinn? He ain't had no fear talks. He. Well, he got fear the straw now. he looking at is the one that he laying on nigga he got what fear now about? he got fear now before he had no fear no he <laughs> actually don't have fear because when niggas was cutting him up he didn't he wasn't scared to die like he didn't have any fear he's just but i was that's because he ain't have he ain't got nothing else to do but he has fear <laughs> now <laughs> he, what did he say shit what's the point of living like you said Exactly. So that's not fear. If I don't give a fuck about life, for well, my life, I don't have any type of fear. But where we at now? Shit, where I thought he was going was that man was about to, he was about to turn into the old nigga and beat everybody ass. That's where I thought he was going. Not old man Jenkins. His until, 
<laughs> until he fucking until he just let the shit happen. I was like, ain't no way you about to just let this shit happen to you. If yeah, everything you showed us in season one, there ain't no way. And then he got the top of his ear sliced off. I was like, ain't that about a bitch? Yeah, and I was tight too. Here, was Wait, like, what happened? No, I said no, I was tight too when he got his ear cut off. I was like, damn son, you can't like stitch that back on. It's the medieval times, man. You don't let that happen. <laughs> I was you know that. what's funny? Is I said the same exact thing. I was like, yo, my nigga, they can cut you up and you could just have scars. But you ain't sewing no no ear back on, G. Like this ain't yeah. no quill. You ain't gonna just get no needle and thread <laughs> and just sew my shit back up, G. Like, hey, come on, now. Nah. So I definitely felt nah. you. I definitely felt that one. Nah, but um, to me, what happened to the warrior? What happened to the warrior after the war? Is he just? I think he became more conscious of what was going on because, as you saw, he was battling his demons. <laughs> his demons was oh, pulling yeah. him down. And then when you see his dad, his dad was like, well, his dad didn't say nothing, but his dad was <laughs> holding up all his demons. And it's like, shit, basically, nigga, you got to uh, be content with your past before you can even move on. And that nigga wasn't, he wasn't content with that shit. He was just letting that shit keep bringing him back to where he used to be. And once he finally really figured it out, in my opinion, I That's hope you started. really talk about his dad and not ask lad. No, his, his actual <laughs> dad. Nah, his actual <laughs> dad. Because I was about to be on your ass, boy. Nah, nah, nah. That <laughs> nigga, he, he something else. He, he something else. Nah, I'm talking about his actual dad. He not Boy, wrong. He like, him... Ask Glad not wrong either, though. The shit he be saying. Nah, I didn't say he was, but yeah. his dad was just like... What I, that's what I took from it, because his dad was sitting there. He had, like, you know, the dead people were trying to pull him down, but he was... It seemed like he was like, shit, I knew what I did. I did it for a reason, and now I got to live with this. So mm-hmm. let me just push forward instead of trying to fight it. It seemed like that's what Thorfinn was doing, was fighting it instead of trying, He's trying to, to forget. Live with it. Yeah. yeah. Instead of trying, trying to live forget. with what he did and just move on. He was fucking fighting his demons while they like niggas down there below. All out war down there. Niggas cop chopping off heads. He, that was a crazy scene, son. Yeah, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was like, <laughs> wait. I'm like, this in this on Netflix? <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was, like, yo. I, was, I was a little bit shocked. I was like, but little, then I was like, hey, well, you know, they had Berserk on Netflix, so you know, yeah, it ain't on there now. Though, but they had Berserk on Netflix, the whole shit too. So I said, yeah, well, scenes are right. If it's a, it's a Netflix original. So. It's a Netflix original, huh? Well, not nah, because you that know, if it's be made by Netflix, they can't. It they not going Netflix, huh? not upload their own stuff. No, it's yeah. not like Netflix, that Netflix gave it to Amazon, shit. and then Amazon was like, "Nah, this too graphic, so we can't put it up there." It's their own platform; they do what they want. That's the shit that be killing me. These Netflix original ass shows. I'm like, this shit been out. That. that is yeah, Netflix that original, is. nigga. Win. <laughs> what Netflix? Oh no, nah, I'm just saying <laughs> Netflix original because they, <laughs> they made told it. Because they made it. What the fuck did they well, do? They, they, they put their own subtitles that, on it, but. I mean, they made that, but I'm just saying they made it to where it it can't be taken down off of their own shit because they the ones that produced it. That's like me every time you cuss, you just not in the thing, but you the original person. That's like us making Team Seven the podcast, right? And then every time we put out an episode, I think I said what I said. Every time I put out an episode. <laughs> And they got Kaz not in that motherfucker because he too fucking uh, one of the original people of it. He not in it because he cussed too much. I guess it's a Khalil original then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it turned into. Because it, it can't be Team 7 Pirates without Kaz, so it must be a Khalil original, huh? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. They put out their own Dang stuff. Them. They not going to just not put out their own stuff. But it's not this. It's like you taking it from somewhere else. That's like me taking shout out to my nigga RDC. But that's like me taking RDC world shit and then putting my own subtitles and shit to a, a little twist to it and saying, "Yo, this is a Teen Seven Pirates um, original." 
Ain't no way. Yeah, some people did do some stuff like that. Hey, that's, that's but how you, the but that's, 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 that's not original. That's not original. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But that's because I think it's more. I'm gonna say I think it's more like how like how like video game companies used to be like only on PlayStation or only on Sega, or only on Nintendo type. Basically, just saying like this is the only place you can watch it, so we gonna call it Netflix original even. Though that's what I was getting at. It. But hey, it's not, not the only place I can watch it. I can watch this shit on Crunchyroll too. Hey, Netflix original. <laughs> see, see, it's, it's different cool. with games. I can if this is a PlayStation exclusive, I can only play God of War on PlayStation. I can't play yeah. God of War on on fucking um Xbox or Switch or anything. I can only play God of War on PlayStation. Netflix, I can watch this shit on Netflix, but I can also watch it on Crunchyroll, on Funimation, Hulu. And you can't really sit here and say, oh, that's a Netflix original. How? When you got other streaming platforms, well, from what you're saying, you have other streaming platforms with the same shit. But it's original from Netflix. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think it makes that's, sense. that's my guess to what it's supposed to be. But now, I, I said that because they not going to cancel their own self. That sound, that's stupid. For them to cancel their own self. That's what I'm I, saying. I feel you, but I just don't see the point of saying it's a Netflix original. If I think that's just not... to get more publicity. Because if you think about it, when bloggers start blogging, they're like, yeah, this Netflix original. And then you're like, Netflix original? It makes you want to go out and buy Netflix now to watch this Netflix original. Even though we all know, like Vinland Saga, we can go on Crunchyroll, all these other third-party sites and watch this shit and be, be fine. But the actual world who don't watch anime and they hear about it, they're going to go and buy Netflix now because it said Netflix original. So they think everything is on Netflix instead of, like we know, Crunchyroll, possibly find, find the shit on Hulu, all these other sites. Well, it's more for the consumer. We need to start saying that shit then. It's a Teen Seven Pirates it's original then, motherfucker. Maybe <laughs> we'll get more followers and subscribers then, nigga. <laughs> Cause that shit don't make no fucking sense <laughs> at all. It's a consumer thing. That just how T seven P exclusive. Oh, fuck. That's, you can only like find the see. content here. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that's how that so it is. Until they can start cutting our shit up and making their own stuff. Yeah. And then when I'm gonna start cutting them up and making my own fucking soup. All right. right. All okay. Right. <laughs> all right. And that's how niggas get canceled. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the pocket you got. Okay, man. Well, pick me back up. Damn, what you got for us? What happened to the bitch after the warrior? I mean, I went to the warrior after the war. <laughs> I mean, for me, looking at it, I don't know, man. I would say for Thorfinn, it kind of broke him because. It, like this transition between season one Thorfinn to season two to season two Thorfinn makes perfect sense to me because in him fighting his own war like not even necessarily like for the cause of like whatever uh, what's this dude's name ask that like wanted to do it was just so he could get close enough to him so he could kill him right and then you go through the whole season one he's fighting all these different you know fights collecting heads like all right now what my duel where's my menace that's from the smoke and he gets all the way up to like the end of the fucking shit right and then someone else kind of kills him and then that just kind of broke him like i saw it in the last scene like before they like kind of previewed season two and i did uh, to be honest with you i didn't think he'd get into that like super depressive state and i thought that was like very interesting how the writer kind of like decided to write the character after that and seeing him kind of like slowly progress and that he's like still haunted by like some of the stuff that he had done like that one village with the girl and the old woman and then his boys came through on the ship and you know set the pretty much raised the whole village shit was crazy man but yeah it was a question stuff. for y'all after uh passing if yogi gonna go yogi i go first i go next and then yogi you can go uh i win I... what yeah, i said i win how fast I went. <laughs> yeah, we about to go to hell too. My man, this is reverse flash. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was quick. Wait, yeah, go huh? back there and stay there, motherfucker. Don't come back that quick. But I think, well, from what they show is like, 
So if you watch this, the last episode, the first season, you see him drop his dagger. And yeah. the dagger dropping seemed so significant and it took so long to fall. So I think that was signifying how he's how he's gonna be in the next season, in season two. But I feel like he was broken not because of the war, but because he didn't care to go to war. He just cared to kill Asclad. So once he that was his sole purpose in life. Then once he couldn't kill Asclad and somebody else killed him, it's like, nigga, I spent like damn near 11, 12 years, 11 some years trying to kill this one man, training to kill this one man. Like I didn't go to war and kill all these dozens of people because I wanted to or because it was fun on my Thor kill shit. I did that <laughs> because I wanted to train to get stronger so I can kill him, this nigga. And then somebody else take my my whole goal away from me and it's like what reason do i have to live do i go back to the crib i can't go back to the crib now do i go ain't back to the crib for me. like ain't shit there for me and then do i find something else to do nigga when i left when my father died i was six 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 to seven years old nigga nigga i i don't know anything else besides war and killing niggas one Two, my whole reason for living now is gone. I don't have nothing left. So now at this point, I can't kill myself. So it's like, now I'm, at this point, I don't give a fuck what happened to me. Like, yo, I'm just scrolling. I'm just stroll, strolling by it just to live, just to survive. And I'm not even surviving. I'm just living. Like, off the, oh, yeah, you a slave? Okay. Hey, do this shit. Okay. We ain't got no food? Okay. Hey, we only got cheese and bread for you for the day. And that's that's like a third of a bread. And like half of a cheese. Okay. Because he don't care. If he's still hungry, he don't care. Because it's like, yo, I hope I die. But then he don't hope that he die. He's just like, yo, if I die, I die. It is what it is. But I didn't like how... But like you said earlier, he is rational now. He is more rational. With, before he was just killing just to kill. Hey, go kill these niggas. All right, too easy. Hey, if you kill this niggas, I'll give you a duel. All right, too easy. Before, he had somebody telling him what to do. Now, since he's his own man, and he has nobody really controlling his life to that aspect, he don't know what to do with his life. And now he's like, what do I do with my life now? Like, I don't want to kill. But then again, I still feel bad for all the people I did kill. And then he was young, so it's like... He had time to reflect on all the times that he killed somebody. But he was never... Asgard or his father never taught him, or anybody never taught him, that you have to accept your past and the decisions that you made in your past. Even if that's killing people. But his dad never got the chance to tell him. Exactly. His dad is <laughs> standing there swimming with the fucking right. fishes at this point. But <laughs> Asgard had plenty, but Asgard could have told him too. But he didn't. Go ahead. I think he did ready subliminally when he was like, "You got to become a true warrior." But that's he was definitely like, hinting at it. That's true. He was hinting at it. He was yeah, but it. but like I said, it's like all these years went by. Now you hinting at it. I'm already suffering with my demons now. Now it's like, nigga, it's been like what five years since you died, nigga. I'm already living with my demons for five years. Now all of a sudden you want to hint at some shit. Come on now. But it's like. Once he came to that realization, yeah. But it's like, once he came to that realization where it's like, hey, you know what? I can't change the past, what I did and all the people I killed. And it's like, I do deserve the worst type of death or worst type of punishment ever. But at the same time, I want to make up for it by doing something good. That's why he wanted to go to a new land to, so there's no slaves and shit like that. And one thing I did notice is him and that fuck nigga slash sexy ass nigga can a tea or can whatever the fuck oh. that king is. That nigga. Oh, say, forgive me for pre- 
Yeah, I was about to call that new Kapoop, Kachoop, Katoop, Katoop. Katoom, Fatoom, Batoom, whatever fuck that nigga name is. He's the worst. But but you know what's funny is he he is a scum ass nigga. He is. Nah, not not for no not for nothing. He is. He's the worst. Okay, that you was too. gonna be my but, um. <laughs> where you say I, that was gonna be my next thing I was gonna ask you. I was gonna be like, uh, do you think they switch places? No, they have the same goal. They Absolutely. have the same I, goal. I, I, I well, I mean, Rico, like I how Rico. how they um how they switched on going about it because before he wasn't as forceful as he is now. He was more. Nah, of a before sit-back. he didn't. He was just a bitch. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and now, and now, Thorfinn a bit. Bro, Thorfinn's not. But a they bitch, switch. <laughs> oh yeah. Nah, <laughs> oh, nah, yeah. Not at all. Not at all. He's a warrior. He ain't not watching the series. Spirit, bro. He ain't watching if, the show, G. He ain't if watching you the think show. About it, I, <laughs> he I'll break it down to you. Spirit, bro. I break it down to you. If, if he ain't watching the show before, before he was like Kantu, whatever his name is. He would now he's like canoe, con- <laughs> canoe whatever, damn. <laughs> Katoom, Batoom, whatever the fuck the nigga name is. Call that nigga Can. Canoe, <laughs> canoe in the first season, he was sitting back being a bitch. While Thorfinn yes. was out there fighting everybody. He looked like a bitch. up all these demons. Now comes season two, Canoe, he out here that ransacking sexy villages. like a man, boys. <laughs> He basically Woo! doing what Thorfinn was doing in season one, and Thorfinn is doing what he doing now in season two, sitting back being a bitch. We know he's not a bitch, but he being a bitch. <laughs> like when they when they went and fucked up his crops, his wheat that he was growing, mm. I would have been on bumpers. But he what he say? Bumpers. What he say? I can't do this because I already just fucked, basically fucked up too many lives in my time. Hell no, they just fucked up your week. I done stepped on enough crops in my life, so I don't, <laughs> I don't deserve my crops to be living. <laughs> nigga, fuck out of it. Yeah, that's what I'm like, hell no. Fuck out And Einer was like, you supposed to get mad. I'm like, yeah, tell him. Tell him we, to get we mad. We worked a whole year, G. Like, we worked a whole year to get these crops to look like the way they looking. And we got rid of all these fucking trees. This this yeah. nigga came to me and said, "Yo, yeah, you gotta get rid of all these trees." That's a forest, G. That's said, a no, forest. Oh, yo, just, that just get rid of thirty trees, and that's good. this nigga said, "Yo, if you get rid of this forest, you good. You get then you yeah. then you look at you like, yo, this a forest, G. Like, yo, what you mean? Get rid of all the trees, nigga. Ain't no way." And then you mean to tell me we do some shit that's productive and th- these niggas just come in and stomp our shit the fuck out? You talking about, you don't get mad. Nigga, don't because get it's mad. Gonna pros- <laughs> because it's <laughs> gonna prosperous the nation. They gonna come over here and destroy it. Hell nah. And that's what I said. Einer told him, he said, you allowed to get mad. They fucked up your shit. And he was like, nah, I can't. And then he got mad for a split second, broke that nigga jaw. And then he was like, oh shit, I fucked up. I was like, hell no, nah, you ain't fuck up. You did the right thing. He I said, man, stop face. playing with my nigga Thorfinn, G. Because he was split y'all nigga shit. Oh, y'all niggas just slaves. How y'all know I did it, man? Y'all fuck y'all bum ass crops anyway. Oh, yeah? I'm splitting every single last one of these niggas shit. They lucky they got off that. Nigga, if I was Thorfinn, I was killing each and every one of these niggas. And I would be like, yo, y'all gonna have to kill me. Anybody want to try to kill me, I got something for you. You better he choose was, and I pick think... your battles wisely, nigga. <laughs> He was a yeah, he man, he I'm putting niggas in the soil that I just dug up, motherfucker. <laughs> like, what fuck is you talking about? <laughs> he was a slave what is you talking about? He wanted to be a slave. Hey, he, he, he was a slave because he wanted to be a slave. That man could have went through and killed everybody in there. Of everything I he think... did. No, that's what I think it is with Thorfinn. Is even though he has the ability to do all that stuff. He just doesn't have like a reason to for himself. Like he doesn't even like care enough about himself to like a make sure reason. he like eats enough or whatever. Nah, he doesn't have a reason. He didn't know. His reason was taken away when Askeladd died. Yeah, that, that's, I feel that's you. fine, but yeah. I feel you, but it's like my nigga, I work. My nigga, I work. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yo. That's what I'm saying. Yo, there's you no can't, way. Nah. Like my nigga, I, like certain I things, it. it's like I know I have no reason, but I worked all these fucking years 
to take these fucking trees down. Just us two. Not no, no help. Y'all niggas didn't even want to give us fucking horses. We had to work, take all these trees down. Then we had to work this old nigga to help him with his crop. Just to fucking get a horse to still do our initial work to take all these trees down. That shit, he- them double. bitches is heavy, nigga. Them bitches is heavy. And I worked years and years on top of years. And you mean to tell me these niggas, and then we finally pr- plant some shit. And you mean to tell me these niggas come in here and stop our shit? And we got to start over? And you talking about, oh, don't worry about it. Yo, I killed enough people, so I deserve this. You probably do, but I don't. And I be dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm That's good, what I'm saying. If I'm good, they came, I'm good. saw they shit, and was like, this shit growing perfectly. Nah, we can't have that in this shit. That's what I'm saying. Hell no. Nah. Yeah, I, nah, nigga I was definitely hating. Yeah, it's, and then when you like you say I can't do it because I did it to other people. When you turn your life around, it, I say it's fine. Somebody, it, it, like if you put your soul into it and you know you're trying to turn turn over a new leaf and this shit happens. Nah, I'm on bumpers. I'm, 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 I'm on bumpers. <laughs> Them <laughs> niggas had me. I'm putting everybody in the dirt, and I'm going saying, to master going myself. In the dirt. I'm going to master myself to tell this nigga, Yo, G, you got to kill me. <laughs> oh, I said, like the old dude, uh, <laughs> like old dude that was at on the other slave farm. Either it's gonna be like that, or I'm gonna be forgiven. Where he killed every the whole family. Wife, well, he killed a wife and kid, but he killed dad. Uh, I know it. I know Ari, what you're talking Ari, about. Uh, Ari, Ari, hella husband. The guy that came and uh, killed Snake's crew. Oh, Gunnar. One of them in the. Yeah. But he, that nigga killed the whole. They hold. Well, except, like I said, except for the wife and kids, but he killed this. He killed the owner. He was like, he said, I. I serve you now. He said, "Oh, right. Oh, really? So that means you. I get the choice whether you live or die, <laughs> yeah. right? That's too easy. Yeah. That nigga kiss his boot too. He probably, he he probably lick his ass if he wanted them too. <laughs> 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 so that's what I'm saying. I would have been like him if I was starving. I would have either had to slaughter the whole thing, the whole, uh, the whole farm, or I was gonna be forgiven. Like what I said. Too? Nigga, the master would have came back, and all the niggas that was living with them, all the farm hands, they would have been buried in the, under the same plants that we was growing, nigga. Cause I would be dead. <laughs> I would have been dead. Them niggas would have been the soil, motherfucker. They would have been the nutrients. Cause I will fucking like, be uh, dead. That's why <laughs> I, I can't wait to see um, Thor kill when he come back in there. Cause it, oh, like yeah. you said. Canute, that man doing these underhanded things, poisoning everybody, and I get it. Thorkill don't get—he don't like that shit. When he said, "Don't bring him up in my presence," I was like, "Man, yeah, it's like that." Yeah, and this nigga um, Canute, he ain't with the antics, man. He be wildin'. Man, don't bring that nigga that up, man. man. This nigga fucking up my whiskey, G. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He fucking up I'm my like, Jameson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my weird. Johnny Walkers, nigga, my Jackie D, motherfucker, <laughs> my Henny. I can't drink my Henny, cause this you talking about this bitch ass nigga. Yeah, Shout out to my nigga people. Johnny Walker. Like, like, I knew he was scum when he was uh facing his head, mer- head um military person, the dude with all the scars on his face when he was yeah, battling him. Okay. Is it is it him? I'll remember his I, name because uh, his name I is not Loki. I know that's for sure. No, Floki. Floki. I think no, that's not Floki. Right. Nah, it's, it's not Floki. It's not Floki. Floki is the, the SpongeBob like... head ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. That's not. <laughs> I know that. One, I don't. I don't remember his name, but I know that's not his name. Their their top warrior person. That's basically the second in command. That's not to do with the bald head. <laughs> it's not the war girl, is it? Nigga, no, not him, but he that man on Demon Time. <laughs> yeah, he is. I love Thorkill. Thorkill is uh but fun. nah, but when he fought him, he that man used underhanded tricks. He was like, Yeah, I see you started going harder because my sister came out basically. Not, not really. Oh, not really. that dude he really yeah, that underhand. One. It wasn't really underhand because you gotta remember. You know, fight is a fight. No, I that's what I'm saying. I get it. If I, I, I kick got you in the, the dick, concept. If I kick you in the dick. You can't sit here and say I wasn't fighting fair. Nigga, 
This is a fight. Oh, no, nah, everything, no fucking... everything go. Everything go. <laughs> yeah. I ain't saying everything don't go, but I'm saying, like, I was thinking of it, like, if we out on the battlefield, ain't no bitches about to be, I mean, ain't no females about to be on the battlefield with hey, y'all. This nigga wallin'. <laughs> talking about it. Hey, so that nigga up, yo, he. So that nigga the fuck up. <laughs> hey, yo, he. Get your soul kid, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 Talking about like, ain't, ain't no, no bitch yet. Yeah, this nigga Wallen G. <laughs> I remember. Hey, Khalil, join me on the join me on the floor, G. Just wait for niggas to pick you back up. <laughs> <laughs> what Yogi saying? Uh, what the Campbell's said, Campbell's can rolling? Oh yeah, yeah, the, 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 the ravioli <laughs> shit. Chef Boy R D, nigga. <laughs> Trying to find my way back home. <laughs> well, you got lost, Doro. <laughs> uh, nah, that but there ain't gonna be no no females out there for you to say that. So it's like that's why I said he used underhanded tricks. I know he didn't use it, but he used it. Cause it's like ain't no females about to be out with y'all on the battlefield for you to be like, hey, your wife uh-huh. back there. Yeah. Ain't no Viking about to go for that. <laughs> Hmm? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can throw your shield, shield at him, and then you can charge him. Ain't nobody about to go for that. But that's only an example like, of the techniques he would use. Like he may not say that exact thing, but he could say some other shit. Like that's how he got all the, the Vikings. Uh, definitely let you know out about his character. Out of all the Vikings that we've seen in season one and season two that they fought, how many of them you think about to fall for that? I know Thor killing definitely for in. Any, any like those tactics Thor where you stupid. like, he might, he ain't falling. Thor kill, <laughs> he Thor pretty dumb though. Thor kill, no Thor kill. He's pretty dumb. He might fall for that. Nah, he ain't I know one. There's another. I know one nigga that's not gonna that fall for it. Huh? I know, I know Thor Gill ain't gonna fall for it though. <laughs> oh yeah, nah, nah that man. Nah, 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 nah. When he, he was, was like, hey, he split <laughs> niggas in two. He's <laughs> wild. <laughs> it was when that when that scene popped up. He was like, hey, go ahead and kill him. He said, go ahead. He pushed him out there. He's like, all right, you fought. Now it's my turn. I was like, boy. I would have sheathed my sword and have been like, you got it, boss. And what? <laughs> Dead ass. I'm going home. Okay. I done went home. But, but Pete After I going. seen the, the first person get sliced in half, I would have been like, you got it, boss. But I'm Pete just him up two ways, bro. Don't you think um, Canute influenced um, Thorfinn in a certain type of way, though? Because How do you mean? Ever since he killed, um, Canute killed um, Asclad, Thorfinn been broken, G. So he had that some type of influence on his ass. I don't know. Huh? Mm, I mean, that was kind of like Asclad's plan, you know? And since he was there, and they were like, yo, we're going to attack the island of Wales. He's like, oh, fuck. I might as well just be a martyr now, and while I'm here, I might as well uh, let Canute be the one to like end me, then he can like be enthroned into power, and maybe he won't be a dick. And then but two years way, later, we see how we turned out. <laughs> either way, that still influenced Dorfin to lose his purpose in life. I see your point. Which is not what um, Asglad wanted when he said become a true warrior, but it still made him like lose a purpose, his purpose in living. That's why he became a slave because it's like, yo, I have no reason to fight y'all back. Although none of y'all niggas can beat my ass, I have no reason to fight y'all niggas back. So that's just my take on it. Yogi, you got anything to say? I know you, you a little quiet because you ain't watched the show. It sound a lot like I feel like it needs to something else that I watch. Like uh, sometimes for that character art where like they lose. They lose their purpose and everything. Kind of, it kind of reminds me of like Samurai Jack. This nigga, at some point, he loses his sword, and that nigga's like, fuck it. He, he almost stopped even trying to like, save people. Okay? He almost stopped trying to like save people, everything. And then they literally show him like talking to himself. And then as the viewer, part of the audience, you see like his other side, like his demons of him trying to get over his own like past, where he's like, he literally argued with himself and be like, nigga, you the reason why we here. You lost a sword, you ain't shit. It's in the past, what the fuck I'm gonna do? Like, you know, he gotcha, Jack. don't even wanna fight. Fuck your Jack. Okay. Samurai Jack. <laughs> I'm gone. So, 
yeah and then uh as far as that goes it make me wonder like i'm gonna throw a theory out there i don't you know i don't know what's going on i'm gonna catch up but like it might take somebody outside of him for him to find that purpose again it is and then he get he get on to you know what i mean he, he, he has it's, the added growth of the patients and he gonna have his he gonna have purpose back so then all of a sudden this nigga gonna seem even that much stronger when he come back well he got his purpose now which is what they said to make oh, go to a land where up. there's no slave no slaves okay. and slavery. i think slavery and i think einer is the one that helped him to figure that out on the lowest key like he ain't say too much to him but him just he being played around yeah so I, that's i think that's where we're heading because they left off where he about to fight snake and snake got a nice little joke he was like okay either i'm i'm probably about to have to go all out which i can't wait for episode 17 now which i probably won't watch playing? until they finish yeah me too yeah that's kind of what i'm yeah. doing i left off on like episode 13 i think it was and i was just like nah this is too good i know i'm gonna want to like binge and binge so let me wait a little bit i ain't got time that was hinted at, at 17 oh, yeah. i like doing that sometimes it depends on the show but for this one i want to just like right through but speaking of influence how inf- influential man i can't even read hooked on phonics ain't working for me today how influential on, man. get it man. together man <laughs> Fuck all that. Man, how did Jake Paul influence... How was his influence... Man, how influence... Hey, Khalil, help me out. You know I can't be... <laughs> no, we, need to, we need to go back to kindergarten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, hey, kindergarten, if they reading this shit, then them niggas is Tony Stark's then. <laughs> nah, you need I to learn your, your vows again. <laughs> How, how influential is Jake Paul in boxing community? Nigga, fuck you, nigga. How influential, how influential how is influ- Jake Paul in the boxing community? How influenza? So you read it then. How influenza? What's, What's up? What's the question then? What's the question then, Yogi? Read it. How influential is Jake Paul in the boxing community? Man, that was pretty good. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> See, he got hooked on Fox over there, nigga. I ain't got hooked on Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Who trying to go first? Oh, All right, Dan, you can go first, man. Fuck. All right, man. So it's a, it's a weird topic because we all know for the most part, like Jake Paul, he's a straight up and down asshole. He's just like a funny guy who was like, hey, I want to try boxing. And then he wouldn't try boxing. And I mean, I feel like in terms of like skill and ability, he's nothing to like really like awe and marvel, marvel at. But my uh, my perspective about him is more about like how his character kind of like makes spectators view the sport of boxing. Because he did a lot of the things that some of the great ones did. And when I say the great ones, I mean like. Uh, just like in combat sports in general, so like Sugar Ray Leonard, like Muhammad Ali. And, what do you do? Uh, talk shit. That's oh, it. Yeah. Talk oh, shit. Nigga, that's I'm it. Scared. That's well, it. <laughs> that's hey, it. Well, that's well, it. The next that's question it. is. But the thing is, how influential right? is 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 Kaz in the boxing community or any type of community? Because I talk shit too. So, oh well, Kaz is up there with one of the greatest of talking shit. Muhammad Ali. No, 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 no. Shit, but- the Rock. Stone Cold Steve let, let, him go, let him finish. <laughs> let, let me him finish. finish, bro. Let me finish. Let me finish. Because for a while, I don't know if you guys like follow boxing super hard like that, but it was losing a lot of traction. You know what I'm saying? Like it, like there weren't like so many sold out ticket events, and like pay per views were like getting cheaper and cheaper ever since like Mayweather got like got out of there and retired. So yeah. he did bring more of like attention back to boxing, and I think he was good for that. But in terms of like who he was like trying to pick out and call out and all this other stuff and like fight them, he's a bitch and he got what he deserves at the end of the day. Like he got his loss, he got humbled. Damn. A lot like how Sick Nine got humbled, but we ain't gonna talk about that. So but, I wait, hope who anything, he, lose to? he does kind of come back. Huh? Who he lose he to? I don't remember the dude's name. I just know he got lost to the gym. To the gym? Nah, not not Six Nine, he's talking nah. about Jake Paul. <laughs> 
no, I was talking about Jake Paul. But I was saying he got humbled like 6ix9ine got humbled yeah. and got an L. That's what I was and saying. He said, yeah, that's that Jake Paul said, That's why I said the dude. <laughs> Six nine lost to the world, nigga. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, he little lost the world, nigga. Who did Jake That's Paul lose to? <laughs> I don't even remember, nigga. To be honest with you, I just know that he got an L. I looked it up online, and I was happy. That will stop that man's Damn. rain of shit talking. And oh, now, 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 hear me out, nigga. Boy, I'm all, no, no, no. I'm all for. I'm all for oh, rain shit talking ass dude. I'm all for shit talking as like fighters and stuff like that. He, but you have to have a reason Fury. for it. Tommy Fury? Right. Yeah. What's Jake Paul's record? I don't know. He fought a bunch of like retired champions and like low key nobodies. You know, yeah, that's, they weren't like that's retired the shit. champions. So that's six and one. I no, oh, it's BJ. I, that's the thing I didn't like. Is the first nigga he went against, it's like he has a little boxing experience. I'm not saying. I'm not saying Jake Paul is a trash ass boxer. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that either. Not saying but that. I also ain't saying that's the nigga. Marvel at, but yeah, I'm not saying he also deserves to be in the boxing ring professionally. In my, in my agreed. Because that nigga agreed. Dan should not be an Evo. So. <laughs> 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 he ain't beating my nigga Epo. He ain't beating my nigga Epo. Here. The nigga ain't beating my nigga. Um, what's that nigga name? Heavyweight champion in the world, Craig. Um, right. Takamura. Takamura. He not beating that nigga. Definitely not beating Hawk. Definitely not. Right. Definitely not. He yeah, ain't beating yeah. their whole gym, is what you say. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nah. Dempsey roll on point, nigga. The fuck you talking about. But it's like he fighting scrubs. Like my nigga, you fought against um. KSI or some shit mm-hmm. like younger brother with no experience okay then after that you fighting professional you fought like a kid but some nigga Profes- he a professional but this nigga was washed like, like got, what, the loss that hurt smoked. me when he beat Tyron Woodley I was hurt that shit got me tight I was, this nigga's I was retired angry. UFC G Bro, whole different twice. sport. He beat him twice. Yeah, He's bro. retired. UFC. I know. I was tight. This nigga I was tight. plays a whole different sport, and he don't even box. He don't even box. So it's like, can you really sit here and say, "Oh Off yeah, hey, this what's up?" Uh, what do you think about Mayweather and uh, McGregor then? Did they actually fight? Myself? Yeah, no. They they, they, they had an event. Yeah, they fought. I they feel fought. like McGregor did. The, he went about it in the best way possible for him to just make money. For him to think that, that he was gonna like go in there and really like beat Mayweather, like nah, he's kind of foolish like, for that. And I'm kind of tight too, cause I paid for that motherfucking pay per view, and <laughs> that shit did not go the way I thought it was gonna go. He was just like, nope, okay, nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. The whole fucking fight. I'm like, yo, nope, nope. you gotta do a little better than that, G. Come on, man. He was talking all this shit. And then, uh, of course, you know, McGregor, I think they, like, were talking, like, it wasn't a work, like, they were talking about it. They were like, yeah, man, after I box you, you're gonna step in MMA with me. Mayweather was not fucking doing that. Mayweather was not fucking doing that. That's why I asked, because he was like, I'm not... Ain't no way. The only way you, I'm fighting you is if you come to the boxing ring. And I was like, when I heard that, I was like, McGregor already lost. Yep. Even though his style of UFC is boxing, he still is able to use his knees and elbows. It's more karate to. based than boxing. McGregor's more yeah. karate based. He does like side so, kicks and things like that and very wide, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying about um, um, Woodley is like, he, he doesn't do, he doesn't box. So it's like, you can't sit here and be like, oh yeah, well, let me fight this nigga. And then the nigga <laughs> fought Innocent Silva. Who boxes a little, but this nigga old, oh, G. Like he's old. not even that's that. Just, like wow. he kickboxes. Silver? It's a How about different to say, way of Wasn't Silva in the UFC hey. too? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. That's what I'm yes, saying. Sir. The Silver's spider, big, baby. Put respect on his name. Cover man, right there. Cover but that's what I'm saying. He kicks boxes too, but he he still he boxes a little. But that's still little. And, it's like, and then, like I said, he's old. So it's like, come on, now you fighting washed up niggas or old niggas, and it's like. Now you talking about, oh yeah, I'm I'm the gold, I'm six and oh, I'm doing shit that boxes. How about you fight professional boxers in the ring now? 
And I want to see that nigga fight Geronte Davis. Yeah, me too. I want to see that nigga fight Davis. too. He's, um, I think they're in the same weight class, and he has, like, ridiculous amounts of power. And then, like, the way that he, like, throws his body shots and, like, digs in there, Jake is, he's going to go down. Oh, yeah. No. He, he, he would go down. He's he not, he not ready for, I don't think. He's not dealing with body shots He's like that, ready no for way. professional boxers. That's why he's going about it the way he is. I know I heard something somewhere. Uh, I might be wrong, but he did say he's always wanted to box. And now that he has the money to, that's why he's going into it now. That's fine. So and, that's fine. Be, and because but, of that, like, yeah. good for him. Like, I'm really happy about it. But you don't have to talk all this shit, bro. Like, Muhammad Ali hey, was dude. talking this shit because the era kind of, like, forced him to. Like, with all the things that he, like, combated and stuff, you know, rest in peace, I man. think you, you you know it's for the money. They got to hype it up so everybody I can know, buy the pay-per-view. I know, but so my nigga you got to be a pro wrestler. <laughs> like, like, come on. Damn. That's not true. <laughs> that's not true. That's all Damn. cap. That's all cap. Because if you have two you boxers... Mean? If you have two boxers or even like UFC or MMA fighters that's not saying anything and they just, yeah, they're a great fighter, you don't get as much publicity. But if you yeah, get, like, mm-hmm. like let's just yeah. say, let's just say Yogi and Khalil is on um, about to fight. And, you know, they mellow ass, chill ass niggas and they just, yeah, man, shit, I can't wait to the fight. Man, I'm about to win anyway, so you know, it's not a like, shit, yeah. Like, he cool, ass, but I'm about to win. Interview. Yeah. But then, if it's me, Going against on um, Yogi or some shit. And I lose I'm like, all that shit. You talking either? See, and this nigga got me fucked up. If this nigga think he about to beat my ass, I don't give a fuck how much shit I'm talking. <laughs> if this nigga think he gonna win, exactly he got me I'm fucked up. I, I won't even say shit, but I'm I be damned if I lose. I know that's for sure. <laughs> see, see, see. Nah, right see, now he wanna resort to market <laughs> niggas and shit. But I guarantee you one thing: when we get in that ring and I put that nigga down, I guess who gonna be mocking who? Cause then I'ma fall down You're just like that nigga hoop. did because we go. I'm gonna be rocking his ass. <laughs> but the only difference between that is I'ma get up, get up before the ten count, motherfucker. <laughs> so what's up? <laughs> like, this nigga's a bitch. The nigga ain't shit. Nigga, fuck the yeah. nigga family. No, it, it, I fuck with the nigga family. It's for publicity. Fuck the nigga family. <laughs> nah, I know, I know. But like, that's kind of like why. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You gonna get more like what Khalil said. You gonna get more publicity when you talk shit and when there's more at stake or when you like oh, I wish this nigga now we like I don't hope Jake Paul lose so he can shut the fuck up about this shit like I, this nigga talk too much shit for me like I want this nigga to lose so you tune in to watch this nigga lose you don't tune in cause you like him you tune in cause you watch the nigga lose like you said yeah. professional wrestling no matter what anybody say about professional wrestling whether it's real or fake at the end of the day they still get you to tune in to watch it because of the storyline because of what niggas is saying Damn, this nigga said that. Facts. Oh shit, that's crazy. Facts. Jake Paul said, said what? Man, let yeah, me let me pay for this pay per view like a dickhead, so I can watch this nigga <laughs> lose. And then when he yeah, wins, like now you just lost your fucking money. When you could have watched that shit on on Twitter the next day, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I think McGregor was doing the same thing for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, yeah, for, against Mayweather. Yeah, he, they hyping it yeah. all up. And that's then, exactly what happened. You know, yeah. you get into the ring and it's a whole different story. Yeah, that's uh, it, yeah. it basically just brought like intrigue and eyes into it because it's like niggas yeah. people are paying attention off of like it's his celebrity, not his skill set. And then it's like we you know, we don't know yeah. him like I'm not saying that he's not putting any kind of work into it at all, but we don't know him for putting in that work to be there, to be in a position to be like, Oh, I'm fighting for it, no Like nigga, what? This shit is for niggas going off of the money and shit like that, and it's off the antics. You know what I mean? And then that just help mm-hmm. with your name because your name is just already out there like that. Yeah. So he's been a famous YouTuber since he was a kid, right? Yeah, yeah it was that's what I'm saying. It's like it was on Disney Channel and shit too. He has, he has. It was on Disney Channel and like that. Like he, yeah, he became famous oh, when he right um, was on yeah. on Vine, and then when Vine, yeah, yeah. Um, that's where I know him from, was discontinued. He became famous off of every social media platform. So then, once yeah, he became yeah. famous, of him and his brother, once they became like started doing YouTube channels and shit like that, it's like once you become a certain type of level of fame, it's like you can say anything you and you get a response. Yeah, 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 like I could sit here and be like, "Shit!" Right now, I'd be like, "Shit, man!" I think RDC World is trash, nigga. Them niggas is corny. Them niggas ain't shit. Granted, 
I ain't gonna say they they not corny and they, they ain't shit. I fuck with them. Just wanna throw that out there. <laughs> but at the same time, niggas niggas ain't niggas gonna watch this video and be like, oh, man, this nigga ain't talking about shit. Who is this nigga? Cas? Man, that, that niggas ain't right about me. But let me have like like six hundred thousand followers and shit like that, and I say the same shit. Hey, can say RDC world is corny and trash. You know what? He might be on to something. You see what I'm saying? So niggas is tuning into the bullshit I'm saying just because of the clout. It's like now they scheduling they boxing that. matches with Cavs. Team Seven Cavs. <laughs> Team Seven Cavs versus, versus who? <laughs> versus, oh, okay. uh, oh. RDC world. <laughs> first of all, first of all, first, first of all, first of all, first of all, <laughs> you can put RDC world, hey, I, AMP, still Caleb City. Nobody beat my ass. I guarantee you that. <laughs> Nobody beat my ass. Boxing match, basketball match, football match. Well, shit. Two on two. They ain't beating me and Yogi. But <laughs> it don't matter. They not being they not being Team Seven Pirates. I don't care what nobody say. They not being Team Seven Pirates. You can put that on charity. You can put that on anything. They not being Team Seven Pirates. Cause I'm on this one. I'm on the team. I'm the king. I'm gonna be the king of the pirates. I'm gonna be the king of the YouTubers, motherfucker. We get it. We get it. <laughs> okay. It was, I'm just throwing just that out. Example. It was just an example. Y'all gotta get all offended by it. Okay. Okay. Y'all gotta get all offended. Hey, he, he, he prepared. <laughs> Prepare for that soccer. I'm just saying. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta start <laughs> training, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it's about to have a whole chain and arc now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have a time skip, motherfucker. All right. All right. <laughs> but I got, I got another question for y'all. So, do y'all think there's enough commune outlets for black people? So basically, no. like. Damn, nigga, let me explain, motherfucker. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I like how passionate he is about that question, though. Go ahead, Cass. So basically, like, do we have enough resources and sports and outlets for people? I wouldn't, for me personally, I wouldn't say black people, but I'll say like people that's not what's the word? That's not of the fairer skin. People of color. Say, I would say nah, not even that. I would just say people that's not really rich. I would say people that's not rich because just because you you white doesn't mean you're rich either. To keep it a stack with you. So impoverished areas, like dealing with poverty. Okay. Yeah. So it's so, like uh, people like more in the middle and lower class. Yeah, for go. lower class people, because not all black people is, is poor, and not all white people is rich. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah. it's like I still I would say, say more of the lower uh, class. Do y'all think um, for there's that, enough uh, commune outlets for for people in the lower class? So it's a yes and no for me. That's Why do you feel that way? That's a no for me, dog. <laughs> because they we they're trying, but the gang community is the reason why they're not succeeding. Because it's what like community? the gang. Ah. The gang community is why they're not succeeding. Because it's it goes for me, it goes into money. If you see and say me, I'm I'm a little kid going to school every day, and then I see Cash, uh you Cash and Yogi, Dan Cash and Yogi out on the street making his money, and then as I'm growing up, I just see y'all riding hey, around man. in Hellcat. Hey. Mustangs, Damn, Camaros. I see y'all Nissan, riding and all Maximus, this stuff. Nigga. 2026. <laughs> the flyest Team 7 pirate gear. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, nigga? Uh, hey, little nigga. I see. What's up? What you want to get on to this shit? Hey, come fuck with the kids. What y'all do? That's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting sure? at. It's like, I'm going to school. I see my parents told me, hey, you doing good at basketball, football, soccer, hockey, whatever you're good at. You doing all this stuff and being good at it. Why? Like, but you just got to put in the work to get the money. And then you like, I understand. You're not going right to talk now. that to your parents. You be like, okay, yeah, I understand. But then you get out in the streets. And Dan come to me and he like, hey, Caleb, move this for me real quick and I give you, give you a hundred. A 
hundred? Hundred. Hundred what? Just just for selling this? Hundred dollars. Just for selling this? See. Just for selling this? Shit, say less. But they start now, they, they start you off. Now I'm like real small and subtle to where it's not really anything big. And then now shit is you just like damn. Now you in the game making all this money and it's just then you got the teachers who like, hey Khalil, you stop getting good grades. Yeah, you, you not you stop coming to school. Now what what what's going on? Coming to school ain't getting this paper like, though. Yeah, then it turns into yeah, when I get to school, I school ain't helping me get this money that I need now. And then you know some people they don't have a two parent home, so it's like shit. I gotta provide for my mom, sister, little brother, me, my mom, whoever you gotta provide for. So now it's like do I finish school? Go into the do I wait what eight for well, however many years before I get into the league? Damn eight, nigga. Or can I go and Damn, start nigga. selling these? Because uh, I, I was thinking they finished college. <laughs> Most people in the sports oh, yeah, don't okay. really finish college. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got you. Before I get into the league, or can I just sell this 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 substance? get money now mm-hmm. and provide for mm-hmm. my family because i think this would be growing up they had the ymca boys and girls club shit but but niggas to stay out the streets but where niggas still end up in the streets that's why i say it's a yes and no for me because it's out there but gangs is not letting them utilize it and i think Deion sanders said it uh best he was like when he was growing up gang members if they knew you was good that tell you hey young blood stay on the field you're doing a good thing don't come over here and do that nowadays you get five-star recruits there's actually one uh five-star basketball player i forgot what his name was that man got gun charges because he decided to go to a party and they let off shots in california at a car that's driving away so now he possibly lose everything he just worked hard for because he out running the streets with his friend who possibly ain't as dang as good as him this man offers from everywhere and now he possibly just lost all of that because he's just another the gang member but that's what yeah that's why i say yes and no though what you got yogi <laughs> i was gonna say that um there are things out there but probably not enough and i also think that in some cases, there are points where, like, people build their own community, but it's, like, it depends on, like, where you at and who's around you in your environment. But sometimes there are, like, little things, like, um, people have, like, their own groups in general as far as, like, and how big that they end up becoming and they end up getting, you know what I mean? But how much for, like, on a, a easy basis, like, oh, I know I can go here, I can go there. I don't think everybody is like tapped into what resources they can have and it might not be promoted enough to where everybody feel like there's a good outlet for them to stay positive uh the the player's name is mikey williams if you want to look it up all right all right (laughs) i mean I kind of want to piggyback. Huh? You said what you got for us. Oh. I was saying I kind of want to piggyback off of uh, what Khalil was kind of saying in terms of like the area and the community. But for me, I wouldn't say so much about the gangs per se. I would say it's about the role models in the, you know, said child or young person's life. And when. I'm approaching this topic, I'm looking at it as a bigger whole, as even before, you know, they're like, you know, not necessarily when they're just kids, like even like as grown men, because you have some grown men out there that are still out there doing, you know, not so great things to themselves at not so awesome hours of the night, you know, and like a freaking Wednesday, right? And it's like, I know that this service is to better yourself or to just give you a place to be you know to make sure your hands aren't too idle it's more so about are these places being 
advertised enough and are they in like the key locations of where they like should really be at i feel like there isn't a whole lot of like advertisement to like what's what i'm looking for to show people that there are other things that you can do on like a friday night that's not like going to the bar or like going over to your friend's house and especially for kids you know where it's like you know they might not have the best sort of word i want to use here the best set of role models either in their area or in their household so i just feel like the places are kind of there and when they work they really work but i don't think that they're being what's what i'm looking for advertised well enough or like shown out to the public like hey this is here you guys can come here or you should come here and do this event you know things like that that's kind of how i feel about it I guess we didn't save the best of last. You can go back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was just gonna kind of continue on that same like thought process of you know with it being in impoverished or poverty stricken areas, how. I just don't think it's like really advertised enough because I know some folk like even around my way where it's like, yeah, man, I'm out here. No, I don't really want to do this. I kind of want help. But it's like, there's not too many things around that will help. And I mean, I'm not sure trying to get too into my friend's story, but the hospital is only going to do but so much if you have a certain like um, chemical addiction, you know what I'm saying? So I just wish that the places that are here or there or wherever I wish they were in more strategically placed locations and I wish that they had more advertisement for those places that's all for kids and adults alike especially the kids stop them before it even starts but you know maybe something a little different for adults who want to like change their ways and go a different way about life so which age of kids so which age of kids are we talking oh man I feel like with all of what's going on now in terms of like the advancement of technologies and you're a lot more what's what I'm looking for exposed to influence as well exposed to like what's out there in the world and I feel like kids kind of start to get that at maybe like something like 10 no, no 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 it could be somewhere between like 10 and 13 you know that's when they probably have a little bit more freedom to like go outside on their own and you know they have this a phone and all this other stuff so hmm? can't they put in the work they can i believe that they definitely can but in some cases it's more it's not so much about oh can i put in the work and it's more about I'm not sure if there's work for me to put in. They might be like totally ignorant of like what's around them and not understand that certain things aren't either normal or the better way to go about something. They might but not they got the internet that. now. I'm being kind. That's true. That's so true. they can they can look into it themselves. Like I use myself as as an example, and uh, Cash and Yogi can contest this. When I was getting out of the military, shit. Kaz knew year two I was like I'm done I ain't doing this so by the time I got finished I went I know I'm older but still kids they have teachers that help them but I was I was like shit I went and did all the footwork because in the military they don't help you get out the shit they want you to stay in so it would be kind of like the same concept where you got to go out and do it yourself you can't have like it is you need the people to help like some people need it to help push you into the right direction but then some people they don't have that so they have to go out and get it themselves that's what i'm saying like they have like you said they got the internet nowadays so they can like probably not 10 probably more around age 13 they probably more can do a lot of research into what they want to do because i think um demar DeRozan, he grew up in compton back when it was gang infested copy and he made it out and he made it to the league now look at him and if he wouldn't have pushed himself because how I don't many think, rings he got i don't I've, i haven't 
<laughs> yeah, now look, <laughs> yeah. look at him, nigga. How many rings he got? Yes, man. <laughs> man, talk about rings. Yeah. We talk about making it out the mud. It's what we talk yeah, about yeah, rings. Bro. He ain't making that shit if he ain't got talking about teams. <laughs> we talking about teams. Maybe he need to stay his ass in Compton, you motherfucker. <laughs> stay your ass in Compton. Yeah. Going back to Compton. Another the nigga named talking. me Rosen. <laughs> He that nigga. He made it out through basketball. He made it out through basketball instead of instead of going that route. That's all. That's all I'm saying. But I do agree with you. you. They do. They do need the point. They do need the push. Because if you don't have that push, some well, not everybody, but some people, if they don't get that push, then like you said, they go down the wrong path. Now they Friday, Saturday night out partying. And then, you know, the parents, they work these two jobs, so they can't really discipline their kids. And now they really out there in the streets. They didn't stop coming home at night. The parent didn't gave up on them instead of still fighting for them. And where did they end up? Either behind bars or six feet under. Or still running the street. Game dark real quick. <laughs> Nah, this is a heavy topic, dog. <laughs> Not a whole lot of light here, you know? Ain't the chest more so, on it. it. As I was saying, it's just, I wasn't like trying to put what you said down, but there is being like playing devil's advocate out here. Because you know, you got some people out here that's going to say that. And why like, shit, they could do it they self. I did it myself. Why can't they do it they self? And now, the thing like, about yeah. that mentality, right? Because I, I do yeah. want to, uh, I got a rebuttal for you. The thing about that, I feel, is that means that you are one of the one in ten individuals who will like kind of be into a room or invest yourself or invest your time into an activity and then become very great at it. You have the great makings. And that's statistically speaking, like one in ten. Like uh, I study and train a lot of martial arts. Right. So out of all the people that I've ever like trained with. You know, it's there's a very low percentage of people who actually achieve their black belt. It's like the one percent, like literally, it's actually just the one percent of people. And I'm saying that to say, yes, you can do it on your own. Yes, you can put in that work. But I wanna, I, I wish that, like, if I could just make a wish, I wish there were a way where I can see that number climb up a little bit more, as opposed to just having that one person being able to do it on their own. You know, maybe get it. the one turn into two, into three. Cause not everybody's like built like that. You gotta it takes a special kind of person, you know. Oh yeah, it and does. Not everybody's yeah, built like that, bro. I'm not gonna cut you off, but Cass, what's your thoughts? I know we cut you off. You know you missed a jokester over there. What's your <laughs> thoughts? I ain't say nothing, man. I ain't do nothing. <laughs> not yet. But, <laughs> nigga, fuck y'all, niggas. Remember, I ain't gonna come out here and slander, nigga. <laughs> oh. I, I think, um, like I agree with with all y'all for the most part, but I feel like yes, there aren't enough communities because I feel like the older generation, like our generation and the older generation, gave up on the new generation, so Absolutely. they don't really care too much to help them because they like oh they just want to do whatever the fuck they want and they don't listen which also goes back to the new generation now is they don't listen you could tell them you could have a whole fucking two hour three hour talk with them about what not to do and what to do and it's not even like you telling them what to do but it's more like just give them the options and the best way to better themselves and they still don't like they still go out and do bad or join a gang or whatever but and it's like come on now like nigga, we just had this whole conversation and you ain't listen to shit i said but with that being said <laughs> it's also like with there's not enough outlets for them because in new york there's a lot of they don't have a lot of resources and they don't have they try to be like oh well yeah, let's get rid of all of this. Let's get rid of all this for this. But you getting rid of shit to implant other shit that has nothing to do with building up the new generation. Hell yeah, and it's like building skyscrapers out there. That's all y'all do out there. Skyscrapers for what? Oh, you building skyscrapers for nothing. That's what you I'm need saying. people y'all building just... more YMCA's, more boards and girls clubs, 
more baseball, more sports, more basketball teams, more baseball teams, more football teams, more um, soccer teams, more anything. But it's like, we don't have that. Or just like anime club or make everything more acceptable for kids instead of just being like, oh yeah, well, they wanted to join a gang. Well, let's get rid of all this. Like, and it's not right. But also at the same time, it also goes down to the, the younger generation too. It's like sometimes you can't help their situation because everybody's born in a different situation. It's like some people feel like they need to get money for a certain reason, but they need money fast. So it's like, okay, let's just say they had a kid at 16. Let's just say male type had a kid at 16. I need to get this money. So. I don't have time to be looking for it. First of all, I'm 16, so job's not going to be looking at me like that anyway. Two, it's not always easy to get a job if you never had a job before. Three, it's like, I need money before Friday and take Wednesday. I need money to feed my kid, buy diapers, do all this extra shit, feed myself. Because my parents, they don't have, they not money bags like that. So it's like... I need money now and it's like why what's what's the point of me going to sports events or sports teams and playing football and shit like that when my kid can't eat now i may be as good as possible on a football or basketball team or whatever team but at the same time my kid needs to eat now i can't wait on this scholarship deal that i may not get well, I can't wait on going to college, being and putting more debt, or a what if I go to the, M- the NFL, or NBA, or major league professional? Like I can't wait for that. My kid needs to eat now. So, if this, if robbing people is going to get me there to get more money, then by all means, then I'll do that. Or if selling drugs is going to get me there where I can feed my family. By all means, I'll do that. That's what a lot of people don't understand. They just think, oh, just kids is they bad and stuff like that. It's like, yo, it's all about the situation and circumstances that you're in, where you feel like it's a necessity to do this, to sell drugs, to be in a gang. And then it's like, okay. then gangs make it sweet when you sell drugs. It's like, oh well, shit, you if you sell for if you join this gang, we make sure nobody fuck with you. And then some nowadays some people pussy and they don't know how to act. Or they be like, okay, well I need backup. Or it's just like you do you do need backup because if you don't if you don't join our gang, we're gonna jump you and make sure you're not good. And then if you don't join our gang and you still selling somewhere else, they gonna jump you and you have no backup. You can't get your family because you don't wanna get them involved. So it's like you have no choice. I don't really have too many options to wait on a what if I go to the league. You feel me? And then the league is not going to pay me until I get to the league. But I still got to go to college and do good there and get drafted. You feel me? So it's like... Yeah, I got you. It's like it's certain, some things depend on circumstance. And if you're in a, not in the best circumstance and have the best resources, there's only so well, much you can do. I'll let you know this right now. Uh, but Tell this day and age, it doesn't... Really it didn't change now because I don't know if you heard of the NIL. Now athletes are getting paid with the NIL. Because you remember the, the uh, LSU team that won the Natty shit. Yeah. They bring in home like seven, like almost seven. They got almost seven figures in their bank account off of the NIL. And then look at uh, Archie Manning. He was in high school. Bronny James, too. They in high school, and they're, like, one of the top paid NIL players out there. Like, that's why I said Archie Manning. Manning LeBron James' son, just letting Yogi know. That's why I said Archie Archie Manning first, because (laughs) I don't know if you you know uh, Archie Manning, but he is a part of the Manning family. Uh, But he's one of the, the top NIL earners out there. So they have nowadays they have outlets for the kids to uh, not like you said if they in that poverty stricken area to to get out and do better. But it's also 
going back to like y'all were saying the adults we don't want to share the wealth as my dad would say we don't want to share the wealth like there's trillions zillions of dollars out there and all the rich people want to keep it for themselves instead of teaching you how to make money they rather like cash was saying send you to jail because this is a gang infested area you know what you you could just go behind bars you're better off behind bars off you after that. yeah so instead of us like like cash was saying build a more boys and girls club ymca like i was looking for a ymca out here and and ain't no ymca out here within the where i stay at least within like a hour drive away for the the closest ymca and that ymca is a good a good neighborhood yeah so i was like how the kids out here going really get into the ymca because i know growing up the ymca was where you did basketball flag football soccer field trips on the weekend when your parents had to work the weekend but it's you just they don't like they y'all said advertise that no more and then nobody wants to help anybody else build each other up and get rich basically they want everybody to be down in the gutter but, yeah the ones up top and I really like to uh, pay it forward so to speak I feel like that happens a lot personally I feel like that happens a lot in the I would say the black community to be honest with you because yes it's it's I could be wrong too. But I wouldn't say I wouldn't say the black I man. I would say like you said, it's more of the I wouldn't say middle class either. It's more of the lower lower class people that stay in Section Eight uh, trailer parks, stuff like that, because nobody helped their parents get out. So now that their parents don't know the right way because they didn't have that push, so they don't know what to tell their kid on how to get out. Oh well, damn! I guess no. Uncle Ruckus had it right. Crab don't want to see another crab, make it. <laughs> yeah. I'm dead. Yeah, it's, it's facts. It's facts. But it's facts. The that's, that's, is top that's not what I was going to say, though. I was going to say, we do so much of bringing each other down and less, we do more bringing each other down and saying, oh, well, and not supporting people when they start something than the actual saying, Oh yeah, if you do this shit, I support you. But everybody want to be hating you. Like, oh yeah, you ain't gonna go far. You ain't gonna do this. You ain't gonna do that. Like, okay, well shit, you can still support me though, G. Like, why you can't support me? Like, just because you feel like, why, why do you even feel that way? Why do you feel like I can't go far? Like, if I start a podcast, it's like, why do you feel like, oh well, yeah, that's that's cute. You doing your little podcast? Why you can't just be supportive? Why you guys say all this extra shit? Like, why you can't just be like, yeah, I subscribe, I like, and shit like that? Just saying, y'all, y'all should like, subscribe, follow, comment, do whatever y'all want to do. But um, I'm just saying, for that aspect, it's just they don't show that support until you blow up. And then now niggas looking at you like, oh, what you fake because now you think you Hollywood. When, when niggas get big, now all of a sudden I'm Hollywood because I don't want to fuck with you. But you didn't want to fuck with me, and you didn't want to support me when I was when I was just starting. But now, since I'm big and shit like that, and I don't need nobody or need you, and I was like, oh, hey, what's up, man? Motherfucker, I ain't talked to you in damn near eight years. What you mean, what's up, man? What's up? What you need? Oh, nah, I just wanted to see. I seen your little podcast. Oh, yeah? Okay, well, shit, I told you about it like eight years ago. Oh, well, hey, man, shit, you should put me on. You should give me a shout out. For what? Why you didn't want to shout out when I wasn't when I first started? Cause I told you about it, and it's it's shit like that. It's like why you can't just be supportive even when I don't have shit. I don't I need I don't want somebody to be supportive when it's benefit them or profitable for them. Like why you can't just be supportive? And that's what a lot of people do in the lower class community. It's like they're so hooked on bringing everybody down, or it's like. Oh, this when you start doing something good for yourself. Oh, this nigga think he better than us. I don't think I'm better than y'all. I'm just trying to do better than what I'm doing now. I'm not even thinking about what everybody else is doing. I'm thinking about what I'm doing today 
and how I can be better for tomorrow. But because I'm doing better, now all of a sudden you think, I think I'm, I'm better than everybody. Because personally, to be honest with you, I got some of that. And that's not even off of the strength of the, um, the, the podcast. This is off the strength of me just joining the military or just me saying I'm perfect. Because I am. I am the goal. <laughs> what are you talking no. about? Yeah, you remember? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this nigga used like, to walk around calling himself Mr. Perfection. perfection. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never called like myself Mr. Like perfection. perfection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said that was perfect. That was definitely it. Perfect. Mr. Perfection, because you I used never to call him Perfect perfection. Cell. Nigga, no, Mr. Right. Perfection. They, now other people call me that. I said See, that was even perfect. your boys know that sound like you, nigga. <laughs> Hey, if okay. the shoe fucking fit, nigga. If the, if the green cells fit, nigga. <laughs> See, here we go again. <laughs> hey, this is just my second form, niggas. <laughs> but it's like, it's like even then, people were still hating because I was doing better and I wasn't still doing the same shit they was doing. So you had nothing good to say about me because I'm doing better for myself and better than what you see yourself doing. So now you're hating on me because I'm not being stagnant for y'all. I'm not going to stay stagnant for y'all niggas. Dan, you remember when I was about to leave, everybody was like, oh shit, yo. Yeah, you should stay here, man. You don't even follow orders. You don't even listen to motherfuckers. What you join the army for? See, I don't like listening to motherfuckers, but doesn't mean I can't. You feel me? So it's like, come on, G, like... Why you want me to stay here and do nothing? You can find something here. Find what? Nothing. Ain't shit here for me. But not saying them, the same niggas that said that is like trying to break me down. But I'm saying like other niggas would really feel animosity towards me because they not doing shit with their life and I'm trying to do better for my life. Like shit. My big homie, big cousin said, if you knew better, you do better. You don't say the motherfucking part. All right. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for listening to the Team 7 Pirates podcast. Don't forget to join us again next Thursday. See you then.